for can't tell me about certain things about society. Because when you talk about government, when you talk about a country in peace, you talk about everybody with inside it. And the religious leader then gets a stake for play. Today, we invite two important religious leaders then, one from the Muslim faith and one from the Christian. For can if we talk about this all important subject where uh, the importance of peace in the community. The first person you want to introduce na uh, uh, a a first time at this program where na uh, Pastor Solomon and Jawa, when uh, a pastor from Texas and Pastor, you go say great Fambulen where they listen to you around the world. Fambulen, my one for sake. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to wherever on a day. This now on a brother, this now on a picking, this now on a friend, this now on a husband, this now. And this now on a religious leader, Pastor Solomon, I want to say thank you for bringing me on board. And I pray that uh, as we don't begin this, we're not going to stop them because we owe the foundation for which peace will be able to reign. And uh, before I get off, uh, one of the things is this we will need to understand. Peace can never be sustained without truth. If we're not truthful to ourselves, we're not going to ever have a peaceful nation. Because where there is no truth, justice no go prevail. And where there is no justice, there is no peace. And as a matter of fact, even the word of God says, I've talked that. So I want to say thank you for bringing me on board. This is not one of the things we've been on the look forward to, for Lord we talk to we people then. Because like my brother say, we owe a pivotal path for Lord we bring a change to the nation. The government, not the leader. But we get with responsibility because now we they deal with the mass system on both sides, whether the Muslim or the Christian. The sheikh, they talk to your congregation. We, the pastors, they talk to your congregation. And then congregation, they, they involve in the day-to-day -day activity of a nation building. Okay, thanks. So I want to say thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, the next person we will invite, uh, we will introduce, of course, this is now a well-known face now, yeah? When uh, uh, Imam Asan Kabo, when uh, the assistant chief Imam Najem uh, Jenin, Maryland, um, check in saying, Slam alaikum to the viewers who will listen you. Fambule, una kusha kusha, una kabo, una do, na una brother, Mohammed Asan Kabo. Um, first and foremost, I did thank the host, Mohammed Kabo, for bringing me back on board. Um, but this is a very, very extremely important topic. The role of religious leaders then for bring peace in a country or in a community. I will just open my statement by saying, however, religion, however, can play an important role in peacemaking and conflict prevention and resolution. Religion connects with peace in four major ways. And um, the idea of human dignity and common humanity of all derived from the notion that all are connected in the image of the divine, okay. are fundamental to true peace. Just like the pastor just said about if peace gets to happen, we have to be truthful and honest between you know, each other. All right. Interfaith, they play, like when they get in America, the interface protects them often, focus attention on peaceful forms of resistance to oppression and injustice where they happen in a country or in a community. Number three, now religion represents influential civil society communities and institutions. And number four, the local and international religious, religious leaders often determine for good people in other country them for good set the stage for peaceful resolution. Okay. Um, well, me now one of the, 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 the people that were involved within the metropolitan of Washington, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Um, I went to a seminar for a few weeks course when I interfaced course for let the Muslims in the Christian able to work together for the yeah, common work together for bring a peaceful resolution of any conflict or a common understanding between the two faiths. Okay. So when my brother called upon me, say we well, can get this um, interesting topic about the role of religious leaders 
for bring about a peaceful uh, community and peace in a community. I was so excited about it. We'll be part and parcel of this. Okay, thank you very so, much. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, I, I stopped so far right now. All right, so. thank you very much. Um, <laughs> it's a very short program. We just want to uh, we uh, answers and be very, very short. Uh, because we want to take uh, mm -hmm. the opportunity for make uh, at least 30 minutes so that more and more people in the look at, more and more people in the watch, and more and more people in the share. Family, uh, the program this, and we go straight to the point. Um, if you get any questions, they put them down at the, um, the comment section. We will look at her and we will try for put them to the uh, religious leaders. Uh, Pastor, the first question they go to you. Um, uh, tell me, what is mm -hmm. the, the role of religion in promoting peace in the community? First of all, uh, in uh, the religion, uh, the structure where they set the basic foundation for moral ethics. In what I say for moral ethics, it means how we get for live with life. Because in every area, when you look at tradition, you connect them to religion. Because no matter what thing happen, when you come to the church, the church, they teach you, the church say you get for respect your elders. You get for know how for talk. You get for be honest in society. All in there, religion, they set the basic foundation. Why? Because if you not get a moral ethic, you become a nuisance to the public. And where there is nuisance, there is corruption. Where there is corruption, there is hooliganism. Where there is hooliganism, there is outrageous activities than where they go in. Numerous ones then. So as a matter of fact, what in the happen? We, like when I've been beginning, I say, one of the things is that religion for set that pace for trust. Because as a pastor, the people then therefore believe your moral conduct. Not only when you team up at the pulpit, but your outward appearance, your word for follow your action, that is the moral. Because I'm not going to tell you, say, like, you're not women, not thief, man. That is absurd. So as a matter of our religion, they set the foundation for which a nation building, it will begin. And the cohesion can also be there. And what will happen? It will give with a fundamental principle for tolerance. So that we go able for able because what in the happen if we all begin like in the book of John chapter 16, verse 2, the Bible say what in the happen, the people and they kill, they say then they do God a favor. You know, they do God a favor. But everything that you listen, the precepts where the, 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 the pastor they set for you now, your local church, it is based on what you get for do, how you get for treat you, your family. Because let will, will start everything. Let, let I cut this one very short. Religion started from a family, from Adam and Eve. In every situation where they talk, if you talk about every other book, you talk about the Muslim book, they will tell you about Moses. You talk about the Christian, they will tell you about Moses. Then give, the, then give them the, the Torah, wherein we again give we a fundamental moral principle where every government team up on today. And without religion, if we not able to set the pace, my brother, it will take a long, even the best government will fail. They call religion. Now, upon the government, they said they team up for letting able. The punishment will they give a judicial court. You check them. It didn't have the Quran, it didn't have the, it didn't have the Bible. So that's where I go stop for now. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, Imam, tell me what is the importance of peace, starting from the family, coming to the community, and come to the national level. How peace they help push a country, a society, a family? Um, peace is very important, as you say, uh, Mr. Kagbo, uh, from the level, the family level, to the community level, and to the governmental level. Um, because with peace, we're not able to achieve a whole lot. Now go able to follow our goals, their own assets and objectives, them for achieve something. And it's a way peace no day. I mean, that nation, they, that community, they, that family, they judge the deteriorate. Because now only way we get peace, we go walk and hand in hand, 
una go able to set something for achieve them. But if you peace not did, if that one day see that one day na do na fetch na palava, if he, that party day and that party day they not foresee each other na problem. I mean, if that family member not foresee in cousin or in sister or in brother na na palava go you know. So in that kind of setup, there is no progress. I mean, because within the the sentiments the way the people again at the heart, that person they try to come after me, so I will defend myself. So you know, get nothing for think in terms of progress for your own individual life, for your own personal life, for for let it transcend with the level we did to above another. Level. So you find out say peace with peace, an individual, a community, a government, they achieve a whole lot. Without peace, everything falls apart. We don't get the example. The prime example is the war that happened in Sierra Leone. With all those years, 10 years old loss, we know, I mean, up to this now, we're not able to catch up with all the years and they would all miss in our nation because peace no been there. No, nothing, no school, no trading, no business, nothing was going on. Absolutely because, but that should have served a lesson to Sierra Leoneans. For say now, we for take a new chapter of a new chapter now, the book of Sierra Leone, for law do better. With peace, um, um, and Mr. Kabo, a whole lot to achieve. And if we start in the family level, as you say, with your family, we they hurt each other. But if we find some kind of inner self, for forgive you, come we hurt you. For let peace day, so we go able to set up goals and aims and objectives for achieving the family. But if you, you have a grudge, for harm you come in brother or sister, for one simple thing we do to you. I mean, where peace is not in a family, there is no achievement. There is no set goals for them to achieve. And um, as a religion, which we can say, first and foremost, for the average human being or citizen, we they tell them, say, no swear you leader, no the cause you leader. Because you see, we get a, which make a bring a brother on it quickly, because we get a, you know, in its habit in as Sierra Leoneans, all oh, this leader here, they begin cause them begin to swear a leader. No, Islamically, we the Muslims believe say a leader not to somebody for cause, not to somebody for swear, not somebody for pray for. Let Allah give and the 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 the, the 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 compassion I had and the sense of direction. But if you swear a leader, remember say whether swear the old the leader now una it inflict them. Now, when they suffer the consequence of that, they swear we don't swear the leader. So we they always preach the common people say, no land for do that. Pray for your leader. So you see, a peaceful nation, a peaceful community, a peaceful family, now then they achieve a whole bigger, big, a, a lot of things. So if the environment not peaceful, the land not peaceful, then nothing not they go on. You, Mr. Kagu, with the talk, I remember when the war be there, me not be this salon again. I call you one time, I mean, or uh, maybe not you, maybe not another brother. But I remember I talked to one of them, I say, say, brother, I say, what did they happen? And they say, old man, they give a lay, then beginning in the 16 year, they give a lay. They say, brother, what do you think? There's nothing going on in this country. No school, no business, nothing. Absolutely, it's just about humanizing, about bamboo. So, and they, so that's what is going on. So if peace not in a nation, that is the big destruction. Because people are not the focus for doing anything good. Then they try for even just protect themselves and safeguard themselves. Nothing else. You know, so we need to get a peaceful environment. Let God do it our in our salon. All right, thank you very much. Pastor, what does the Bible say about peace and security? Good. The first thing, uh, let me quote a very profound scripture. First John 4, verse 20. First John verse 20 say one thing. It says, whosoever claim to love God, yet hate a brother or a sister is a liar. Whosoever does not love their brother and sister, whom you have seen, cannot love God, whom they have not seen. Let me break this down. You know, in another scripture, before they break this down, let me quote another thing. In, in Acts chapter 24, verse 16, this is what in Paul says. He said, they do everything with a clear conscience. My brother, Chief Kabo, you wish you don't before me so. If I come, I can't do you bad. 
Then I pretend like say, I not do you bad. My brother, now witchcraft. I lie for you. Then as he say, you go jail. The lie why I don't lie for you. As he say, I jail you, they go. Then all of a sudden, I make like say, Mina, Mr. Uh, how they call him? Mina, Mina, Mr. Uh, Mr. Holy. That is wrong. Like what the Imam say yanda, in a moral society, wearing honesty cannot prevail. There's a problem. Because whatever the situation is, whatever the situation may be, the Bible tells us say, we get for be truthful to one another. I'm not gonna say I like you. Love your neighbor as yourself. That is one scripture we, we talk about. How I will love my neighbor. You know, let us feel the way we they feel rationally. I'm not gonna be hundred percent right, but let's try for be eighty percent. Mr. Kago, if I see say they cry, then all of a sudden I can't pass. The Bible tells me say said told John, if you they come to me, Mr. Kago, hungry they for you, then all of a sudden, because most of these fundamental principles then that we don't forget, you know. When we look at the religious part of it, religious, they, pro, they give us, us a sense of humanity. Everything what they do. Because right now, where God don't bless you, you they bless your family. Not only your family, you they bless other people. Not so? January 6th, we've been there free town. Are they free town? I was the president then of the institution. They almost hold me. But why religion is very very important in this moral ethics and in the building up of a society a very good society is this in a home let me return back to this area in a home wherein papa and mama they know they talk true force the brother they know always fall apart because every nation in building it come up from a home when the home they allow the picking them for become a thief who are they going to become tomorrow then go become a thief and if the church not allow for talk the truth, because everything what they talk right now, for let a society develop, let a society become an outstanding area, let a society become a cohesive place, let a society become a moral conductive society, a moral generative society, it gets for be based on truth, moral truth. And no matter what thing happen, where there is no truth, my brother, you know one thing? There is a simple adage in our society where we say, I go to eat only the live ones, you know, they watch me. And in another words, is this truth. If I not say, what I don't do you, Mr. Kambo, is wrong. The God where I not see it, I they go for go pray to God. I not say, I lie for you, Mr. Kambo. I not come for can't tell you, say, Mr. Kambo, I am sorry. My brother, that word what I've been talking about. People they what tell they say, na I not say sometimes they eat hurt. But let we come to that area where we talk, say, yes, this is true. Mr. Kago should be exon exonerated. Let not let you down. People then blackmail you. When a me don't cause them, then all of a sudden, I they look at you, then I they smile, say, yes, I don't get hurt over them. I've been talking and say, I go deal with them. Those are a fundamental moral truth that needs to come out. Because the word of God says, the God will not see. I want to make peace with God. What about you? I go, I go curse you. Then I want to go make peace with God. First John 4 verse 20 say, the God will not see. I want to make peace with them. You where the city are not make peace with you, my brother. You just say, shut the conscience. Is that right? Can a nation be built by that? Where we look at each other, we look at each other as enemy, but we want to go to God. Where do they go lift up now? Holy hands or we are lifting up a hands of hypocrisy. All right, thank you very so, much. I was uh, yeah. yeah, thank you very much, Pastor. Um, so we we come to um, Chief Imam. Um, how we go build up a peaceful society, a community? What are the steps that we for do as people within the community for that we get a peaceful existence among ourselves? Um. Now, tolerance. One, we, I would say tolerance. And um, for 
be able to tolerate each other, interfaith, tolerance, tribalism, not for day in the mix. If we're able to accommodate and tolerate the Limba man, the Mende man, the Fula man, um, that tolerance, okay. that level of accommodation, you can make the other person feel comfortable for contributing to the community where he finds it. You know, it, the man not feel a sense of belonging. He not feel say it's wanted in the community. Um, then the game, because you see, a community or a nation or a family is made up of different talents of pe talented people, different characters. Yeah. So what you we for do na a community now for open the door wide open, but let not get bias for tribalistic bias, you know, religious bias, and um, individual bias. And for be genuinely and honestly open the door of tolerance and embrace each other. Never, if, even if the man will get disability, because we read in abroad, we know how tolerance they help the community. Whether the guy get blind, na blind man, na one foot man, or na cotton man, or you know married, no matter how the person is in our community, we na open the door for him, na tolerate him, na accommodate him. That's the game, the sense of belonging, a sense of dignity, a sense of somebody where we contribute to the community. You know, but if you want to, like, you know, me and a man would stand up against tribalistic behavior or faith behavior. Like I say, I went to an interfaith, uh, you know, seminar in college and I, I tried because that is the only thing that give us, will give us a very high productivity for the way we serve a nation. Um, so na tolerance na number one. And we able are in a school, in education. We educate ourselves. You know, um, me went to um, a Christian elementary school back in the days. But we Muslim and Christian, we didn't have a classroom. We didn't learn. You know, even though we get like a school like Brotherhood Muslim, but uh, or Ahmadiyya, I went to school with Christian guys in the classroom. There is no, I mean, well, Alhamdulillah, well, praise the Lord. Uh, Sierra Leone is one of the you know you know top countries we <laughs> get religious tolerance. Immoral tolerance, right? Yeah, yeah. Because when you tolerate the man we not in a faith or no not to timini man, you not timini man or you not limba man, that man a fuller man, you don't create a sense of uh, unity, and the man gets a faith in you. Like what in the past we say, if the man don't trust for work with you, the man don't believe in you. Say this man will save God me. This man there for me. This man go, if I bring me opinion or me suggestions, this man will work with me. You know, so that peaceful cohesion, the tolerance and respected, you know, you respect the company opinion. Um, if you infuse them in suggestion, nevertheless, you know, I sit on a community or on a meeting for to help, help the community. Somebody bring, everybody can bring their opinion. It no matter. Somebody can bring in suggestion. But you go dismiss them. Because na limba man or na fula man bring him, he can't say me man, this go the add on point. Do you have no get that young man, the Lord for me go. He go tell you, what are you for can bring this suggestion? We're gonna give it, go make it. But you you know, I mean then kind of talk then they they destroy the 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 the, 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 the you know people and then then zeal for help the community. So we for try for share away from that. What do they do for tolerate each other? We embrace each other in our community. We take each other like as a Sierra Leonean. We see each other as a Sierra Leonean. Whether you're not um, a Christian or Muslim or you're not a Liban, you're not a Timini, you're not a Mende. No, we should look at each other as a Sierra Leonean. Say, Salon, Mama Salon. Now we no more get for me, Mama Salon. We community what we do. Now when we come together, we tolerate each other, despite, in spite of our differences, we will able to go forward. So I believe, say, tolerance, trusted, we get trust to, you know, between each other and respect each other, whether in, in beliefs, in opinions, in, in the way of life we live. You get for, you get for respect and for who he is or what she is. Because now from that point, that person, he will be able to call upon them for letting address the, the, the confronting issues in the All community. Right.
Yeah. Really affecting me. Thank you very yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh Pastor, you get anything for add with these particular questions? What do you be for do as people learn for le, we live peaceful within ourselves? And then you say the, the, no, the, the, you say yes, that yeah, yeah. because I'm not between her. Okay. The whole situation is like what I've been saying earlier on. One of the things we like when I talk about trust. The reason, uh, you know, we should be talking just now. Let, uh, let us make this clear. Sierra Leone will not get tribalism. Let we, let we uh, lay that out of the way. Our problem right now, now the level of education, the level of education non depreciates so bad because a man that you, de you don't educate, you expose them to a knowledge, a wealth of knowledge. And as you expose them to a wealth of knowledge, because you go find out, say, formally, within the 70s, coming down to the 80s, the religious facet were the areas of education. Now, I make you see, even then get Muslim schools, then get Christian schools. Not so? And all of them one day, it comes from a moral teaching, the background of honesty, so that we go be truthful and live as a decent people in a society. Because like I say earlier on, where they round up, where there is no truth, you get forget it. The conscience can never be prayed because one thing won't, we get the subconscious and the conscious brain, and then too they are cohesively they they they, they, ba they battle with informations how then they send and receive. But in a society like Sierra Leone, we are in religious tolerance is there. Let's forget about tribalism because many they marry to Timini, Timini they marry to Limba, Limba they marry to Fula, Fula they marry to Soso. So you can't say this is a, a, a tribalistic society. It is not. Go to Nigeria, you will not find some of these things. In fact, there are areas in Nigeria where in the Igbo not they marry to the Aousa. They won't do it. But now, why I talk say the truth? Because my brother, Paul say one thing in the book of Acts chapter 26. He say, are they strive for let I get a living conscience that everything we are they do is for be with a clear conscience. There is no society wherein a dubious conscience is there. Mr. Cabo, I feel say you know for exist. Now me no more for exist. You know for dinner office. Now me no more for dinner office. You hold me back 24-7. Even in the political arena, this is what that is going on. And by the end of the day, anti sensitization don't take place within the religious facet. Let we the pastors then begin for speak truth. Let the imam then begin for speak truth at the congregation. Then I tell you, even God, the Bible says in the book of uh, 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14, if my people, in another words, the one that will know God, if they humble themselves and know, say, what you don't do wrong to me, brother, it's wrong. Let at him up. Now the public and talk say are wrong, my brother. I take you wrongly just because of my ego, just because of what you feel. My brother, our society will be a cohesive society, a decent society, a productive society. Because where there is chaos, no productivity not to take place. Where there is chaos, national building not will take place. Because everybody becomes a lawyer and a defender. What in the apple? This one defend in your idea. This one defend in your idea. But where there is no truth, even tolerance no go take place. Because I go look at you, say you're not supposed to leave. But when there is truth, then the conscience they become clear. Say yes, you are a human being. I place value on your life. You place value on my life. I place value on my sister. I'm not going to rape my sister. We are in truth today. I no say yes. If I rape somebody in Peking, if somebody rape me, Peking a problem. If I kill somebody in, in Peking for power, then I don't say yes. That thing where I don't do. If somebody kill me on Peking, I go vex. If I slap you, my brother, just because I get strength past you, then all of a sudden you go feel pain. Let I not say yes. What are they do to you? Are they doing to me, sir? Because the blood where they bleed within us, our nationality, and we get forget that national moral consciousness that whatever I do to you, yes, my brother. I not go go and go to him before God and begin to talk, say, Oh, Papa God, I tell you, thank you because now na, na lie. God, they look at me, say, Me na a rebel. Because as I round up again, first John 4, verse 20, he said, You're not going to talk, say, and I serve God, I love God, and I hate me, brother. Where the God where you know they see, you know, see him. The brother where are they see? I see you. Me and you now the first day we don't meet up, they will begin to make palaver. I begin to curse you. That is not right. That can never write. That's the only way truth 
Where there is no truth, my brother, there is chaos. Where there is no truth, there is suspicion. Where there is no truth, there is catastrophe. Where there is no truth, there is corruption. But where truth prevails, my brother, all tolerance, what they talk about, where you go sit on an atmosphere where you might not even break the agony for you. So that's the rest of it. The recipe here is truth. Because God says it's not truth. All the prophets, they wake up, then they talk about truth. What is make punishment day? Now, because when you go out of truth, then so for punishment. Not so? If I go to plus us, then my mom beats me. He say, la, nothing, la, nothing, soup again. My brother, where I grow up, I go, no say, thief, because na for, national thief, it they begin from finger soup. So now the whole thing, and my brother, I go one for say, thank you to my family, thank you to Mr. Kagbo, thank you to my brother, Sheikh, who come on board. I believe say, this not going to be the end part of it. But we want for less reunion, they know one thing. Look at your brother, say, now your brother, he get value just like what you get. Up. It not mean say, because you get money, he not get money, so therefore, he not get voice. He not mean say, because you get power, he not get power, so therefore, he not supposed to leave. That man, they can be your help. Not forget the one way whole ladder for let you go up. He get the right for pulling under you. Lord, remember that. Mm -hmm. Because God says, say, how you go up, you not just go up by yourself, now somebody puts you there. Even what will they do so right now? You need people in for kind of this platform. Nelson Mandela say one thing. La, la, he said, it takes courage for let you listen to people. Then. It takes courage for let you talk to people. Then. So if we get that comprehensive, cohesive thought, Say yes, we are valuable in each other's eye, in a truthful manner, in a rational thinking. My brother, we will get a peaceful society, and we nation will be one of the best. Thank you very much, Pastor. Um, we'll, um, check, waiting at your last word. You can say last word and say goodbye to the people there. Eh? Because uh, time don't bet me. I will uh, tell you the whole story. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, this is a broad and deep um, subject about mm -hmm. peaceful. Um, community. Um, I, I, I could just highlight, let's say, the bedrock of a peaceful society or community or nation, not forgiveness. You know, um, forgiveness is an is uh, integral part of the mortal man. We forgive as religion they preach, as we the Muslim believe. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when they drive them out of Mecca, for over 10 years, we go to Medina, then drive him out, then try for kill him. When he, oh, when he come back victoriously and conquer Mecca, all the chiefs and the leaders of Mecca then come out, then come out humiliated, tremble, for see what the, the prophet go, could do then that day. Then say, then say, yeah, prophet, what you go deal with? I, I go deal with you today. And I say, when I all go, I forgive you Una, una picking them, una wife them, una pay, una all forgiven. You see, when we learn to forgive, na did na the beginning of peaceful, uh, come a family and society and going on forward. So long we lack grudge between yourself and us alone. Forgive your company, mortal man, and move on. Let una be uh, be at peace. So una go help una family, una go help help una country. So I thank the chairman, uh, the, the host, Mr. Kagu, very very much. Like I thank Pastor. Um, for your contribution to this show. We do look forward for Leo we go come back online the next time for Leo we, 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 we add to this. Inshallah. Okay. Pamela, una thank you back. We want to extend we thank you, plenty, plenty thank you to the uh, religious leaders there. And una self we don't witness this particular segment. And as um, we don't promise una ya, this gift will be often. We have for the try at least for bring kind of important people eh? religious people and vocal help we follow we live as one as brothers and sisters eh? because we don't get alternative okay so let god make things work well for we all and until then una goodbye all right yeah. goodbye pastor <laughs>